I feel like I've broken record keeping on bringing this up. But the Gladiators, I have never seen a team play like this before. It is so wow. strange. It's an odd play style. It's working but it's working. It's, it's so yeah. fun to watch as well. Just a random Reinhardt in the back lines. And they're so creative with the pathing that they find. And the speed boost. It's com completely catching Houston off guard. <laughs> there it is. They just split it up. The three of them. Three and three. <laughs> I, I'll tell you who tried to run this previously, actually. Paris tried to run a very similar idea um, with Ben Best in the lineup, and it failed. Uh, they, they got picked off, their coordination, they just couldn't handle it. They couldn't execute this kind of style. But the Gladiators, are okay. they look very well practiced, and their communication looks on point. Interesting from Houston what they're trying to employ here, and I think this teleporter might just be used. Okay. Wall comes up. TP comes up. Dropping it down. Wow, that's creative. Okay, and wow. now they've got the high ground away from them. That is magic. This is amazing. Watching these teams try and adapt on the fly to what these teams are running, and they just skip past this entire area. And Linksa, look at this. This is what the Gladiators did in that famous moment, the Great Bamboozle. And here we have it. Linksa playing the exact same way. He's got these long line of sight angles on the Widowmaker now that he can pick apart the Gladiators. And Houston, they picked up two players already. This should be an open cap for them. This is phenomenal. Houston Outlaws just responding with even more creativity. An amazing teleport play coming out from them. And, and, and are the Gladiators even going to have an opportunity to respond? Birdring's been stuck in this little angle. Getting crossfired by Raucus and Lynxer the entire time. And the Gladiators, they're just forced to back off. And, and the hydration, hydration, he drops a boozled in the yep. chat. Yep. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. The Houston actually coming out with strategies <laughs> that, that are so reminiscent of what Gladiators ran against teams previously. Uh, and they're just throwing it back in their face. Now, Mecco might be in a bit of trouble here. The Ice Wolf's going to come out to try and save him. So he does get away to the safety of his team. And now we go to a bit more of a default style as the teams are trying to push through this choke point here. Gladiators is holding very aggressively. And now they're going to be going straight up aggression right into their faces. A lot of ultimates committed into this one. Anyone could be the victor, but it looks like the Houston Outlaws are the ones who are coming out on top. Hulk comes out, but not necessary in the end. Kepster, last man standing, will fall. Not quite. Big goose there, but there you have it. Houston Outlaws winning another fight overwhelmingly, and they have four minutes and roughly around 30 seconds to work with now as they're pushing this one into the second checkpoint.